So if you got the misery and you don't know diddly squat. 1984 is just around the corner, so don't be caught off guard. Listen to Starla and her own psychic predictions for the coming year. Starla? Thank you, Ralph. Thank you very much. Now, I just, I kind of keep track of predictions as a well, hobby. This is like a hobby that Starla has, and now these ain't her own They're not mine. Ones. I didn't make the them ones up. That she's collected. But I have this hobby, and I read all kinds of magazines, like the weekly ones you get in the supermarket, in ladies' magazines and stuff, and I, I, every time I have an article about predictions, I take that article and I cut up each little prediction, and I put it on a three-by-five card. See, now she's got a whole file system. Just with start a whole file boxes boxes and them in little boxes. And, and she files them in have indexes. Categories. And, stuff and, and under different categories. Right, that's right. You can even have different colored index cards so that, you know, you can have like your disasters can all be pink cards like this and stuff to do with the royal family can all be just blue cards or something like that. And you can just categorize the whole thing. And so what I've done, because I do this just all the time, I'm real interested in it, is I've chosen for us tonight some of the predictions that you kind of see over and over again that, you know, when you collect them and you're reading lots of them like this, some of them just kind of keep coming right. up over and, and over I know what again. You mean, more popular them, than others. You'll read these predictions and you'll say, hey, well, that's just too crazy. Too I don't silly. believe that. You know, that just but ain't really going to happen. But when you see it more than once and when that little section in your file file box starts to get real thick and stuff, you know that you've got something that, that must be important. So I brought some of those with me tonight and I was going to share them with all of y'all. The first one's real important one. We got a presidential election coming up and this one says that John Glenn's going to get to be president. But since it's, you know, he's that astronaut and stuff and you saw that movie and all and he went up and all of that and so since he that's who he is. The inaugural ball is going to be held in a rocket, and it's going to blow up. And that that's means he's probably, then who's going to be president? Well, now that's, see, they don't tell up. you that, and they don't even tell you that he's going to be blown up. And see, that's why you got to read these things real carefully, because if you don't read them right, you could just misunderstand. And we don't know. He may be president after all. We don't even know if he's going to die or what. So that's that first one. Now, here's kind of an eerie one, I think. This one says a hamburger helper, and we all know what that is. Hamburger helper is going to be recalled all over the country, and it's going to be pulled off supermarket shelves everywhere. It doesn't well, tell you what kind of hamburger helper or, you know, potatoes know. off rotten or beef stroganoff or stuff, and you don't know what and you don't know why. Well, I know why, and I have read some predictions about this, and that is as they can find out this hamburger helper that causes the AIDS. No, I ain't Starla. never heard that one. Now that's not part of this that's prediction. Hamburger helper so I ain't causes you that, the AIDS. That's, that's Lashonda's own me. opinion. That ain't mine. Okay, now a lot of them. You, I got one whole file box that's got things to do with the devil and with satanic things because these. No, I know they that's one of your favorite of predictions about that. Well, this one's Uncle kind of Bubba to do be with shocked that. shocked and ashamed. Well, he knows the devil can do things too. This one says, now see what you think about this one, that Joan Collins, you know who that lady is, Joan Collins is going to admit on the TV talk show that she sold her soul to the devil to stay so young and beautiful. Well, I believe that. I she do doesn't too. look her age. She's even a lot mm -hmm. older than she I mean, says she, she is. is her age, taking her clothes off in magazines Of course, if you look stuff. up real close, you see, you see the devil gave her a pretty bad deal. She's got a lot of wrinkles and well, saggy and stuff. as old as she is, she looks real good. She put on all that makeup. So I, I'm expecting that one to happen real soon. Now here's one. This is about the devil too. The lead singer of a new heavy metal rock band will claim to be the son of Satan and will convert thousands of naive teenagers. That's naive. That's his naive. Naive. Naive is French words. See, Starla don't know French. Well, yes. Naive teenagers before being assassinated on stage by TV evangelist Jimmy Swagger. Well, that Jimmy and Swagger, he do about anything to get his name in the news. I believe that one. Crazy. That one's going to happen for sure. He gets so mad about stuff. Then this here's kind of a religious one. This one. A strange cloud resembling the sacred head of Jesus Christ will appear over Beirut. Its presence will cause all the warring factions to lay down their arms until a tornado comes and blows it away. Well, is that going to happen like at Christmas time or Easter or one of them type of religious things? I don't think it's tied into a religious, like a religious holiday. Vision. It's just that the, you know, this 
head of Jesus Christ is going to well, appear. Well, that's real nice, and they could, they might I even stop so. the war. I think so. Until well, it so. don't say that. It well, just says they'll lay down their arms while. until the tornado comes. Okay, we got one more, and this is a nice one because it's about things here in Atlanta, and it's just kind of special, so I'll read you this one. The ghost of Junior Samples is going to visit Mayor Andrew Young and tell him to give up his writing career and be a country music star. And then he's going to start making regular appearances on Hee Haw and stuff like that. But he's still going to keep on being mayor and fly back to Atlanta from Nashville and from road tours and stuff and recording engagements and stuff to come back here to important meetings in Atlanta. So he's still going to be our mayor, and I bet he'll be just well, as good as he is now. So it's seen as how most of the time he ain't here anyway. He might as well have right. him a I mean, career I think, as a country music I mean, singer. He could be like Charlie And he'd get a little bit more something. exposure and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes he'd come in and visit and do stuff like what mayors mm -hmm. does. I think it'd be real good for the image of Atlanta to have him be, you know, singing on I'd be a real proud. I'd be real proud. Atlanta some kind of visibility, you know, on you know, national well, press. Sterling and them is all real good predictions, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that probably Thank is all going to come true. I know they but will. But I have one that I want to tell you. You do? Well, where did you get something like well, that? Well, I was told this by a famous psychic whose name I can't reveal, but I do believe this is truly going to happen because it's a scientific thing that's right on the verge of happening. And of what you know, I was I'm, told, I'm the one who's the expert. Well, that's she right. Don't really but know someone else about told it, me so this. And what, take what it I was with told brain. is that some terrorist brain surgeons is going to kidnap our sister Wanda Peake oh, and what? Brooke Shields and they's going to do a brain transplant between I them. I never heard of nothing And like Brooke that. Shields is going to think she's Wanda and she's going to be a regular guest on our show for the whole rest of the year. Now, isn't that exciting? We're going to have Brooke now, Shields right body here on are we going to get? Are we going to have Wanda's gonna body or Brooke, Brooke Shields, Shields body? body? Only she's going to have Wanda's brain in her. See? So she's going to come so be on she's going to look she's like Brooke Shields and like she's going to think Shields, like Wanda. But she's going to sing like us and she's going to have Wanda's voice. Well, where's and Wanda's body going to be? I know everybody's going to want to watch and stay tuned for the I whole next year because we're going to have Brooke Shields on our show. I'm not sure I believe that one, LaShonda, but it's we'll true. wait and see because we'll still be on TV and we can find out You'll and next see. year is going to be our next show. Well, that's all the predictions we have right now and thank you for that one, LaShonda. And